another episode of snack reviews another bunch of snacks because that's how reviews work anyway today uh we have more snacks uh ostensibly all of them i believe coming from the july uh japan crate so we're going to start the episode with a mayotara uh so i believe this is a little piece of fish and there's like a small packet of mayonnaise in there or meal um yeah, you meant to kind of put it on the fish, I suppose. It's going to be an interesting one. Um, quite fond of these fishy things. So there we are. There's the dried bit of fish. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of, it's very dry, honestly. It feels like paper, almost. Uh, and in the packet as well. Here's a little bit of mayonnaise. So I'm going to open this up and apply it onto the fish and I shall be right back. Alright, so the uh, the pack actually kind of exploded a little bit there. Um, so unfortunately it's not a very, uh, it's not a very picturesque kind of uh, coating. But yeah, so I'm going to have a tr little bit of a try of the fish on its own and then I'm going to have some with the mayo. Hmm, very nondescript. Honestly, um, <laughs> if you didn't tell me it was fish, I'd have probably said it was some kind of rice thing. Um, yeah, I'm not really picking up. It's like a really mild hint of fish. Anyway, I'm going to take a bite of this side now with me on. Hmm. Okay, so that's a bit of a stronger fish taste. Uh, still not particularly strong though. It's like a fish essence really <laughs> to that snack. Yeah, overall, the, the mayo is quite nice. Um, it's standard mayonnaise, basically. I've had the same... Oh, well, it's a bit like salad cream or um, tartar sauce. I think it actually may be tartar sauce. Um, although it's probably called mayo or whatever over there. Yeah, it, it's alright. and I wouldn't really buy this if I was given the option. It just it doesn't taste very strong of anything, really. Anyway, uh, on, on that downer, let's go on to the next snack. All right, it is time for the fruit gummy can, uh, which has little bits of meat can slices in them, apparently. It's a happy little orange. It's like a can as you'd get in Japan. I don't know. Now, I have noticed, actually, it's kind of opened already. Now, I think this is something I've done myself and not, you know, how it's been in shipping. But let's see. So we have um, little orange slices. It's kind of gummy stuff. They look like orange slices. Let's give them a try. Hmm, okay, that was it's a little tougher than I imagined they'd be. Uh, also, the the orange taste isn't as strong as I thought it'd be. Um, yeah, they're quite like small things. As I said, they're quite tough and stuff, but um, I don't know. The orange is just kind of like subtle and not all that much there. I'm going to try another one just to check. So yeah, after having the second one... It's not bad. It it definitely tastes like a kind of slightly different orange, if that makes sense. It definitely tastes like, I imagine, what Mikan tastes like. Um, and yeah, not bad overall. I don't think I'd buy one, mind, to be honest. They're okay, but the taste just isn't all that overwhelming. Anyway, on to the next snack. Okay, it is time for Katage Potato Salt and Wasabi. Um, and yeah, these are like slow fried potato chips, I think, by Kalbi. They are potato and wasabi, basically. So, I'm gonna crack it open and take a smell. Uh, hang on. Okay, let's have a whiff. Hmm, okay, um, smells like potato chips, really. Um, slight salt smell kind of things, but I do not detect any wasabi. Anyway, they look like regular potato chips. Let's give them a try. Hmm, okay, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> they're kind of like potato chips with a hint of wasabi, because, um, sorry about that, really loud motorbike went by. Yeah, um, they taste a little bit of wasabi, but the heat's just not there. I'm going to have another one. Okay, um, I will say, so after having the second one, there is a bit more of a heat to it now. Um, I'm starting to really get the wasabi kick, not like... Well, like a lot of wasabi stuff, it doesn't last too long, but it's kind of there. You know, it's quite hot when you have it. Yeah, not bad, actually. It's kind of... It, it's better after the second one. I'm going to have one last one, just to check. Okay, there we go. So if you eat a few of them in a go, 
then the kind of wasabi heat really builds up. Also, um, I will say that the description mentions they're very crunchy, and they are. They're definitely one of the crunchier potato chips I've had. Um, yeah, overall, actually, those are a lot nicer than I than originally I thought. Um, the wasabi taste is a bit stronger. It's not going to like blow your mouth off though, which is nice. So it's like it's like some spicy potato chips, basically. So, yeah, not bad actually. I I give that one a pass. On to the next one. All right, next up is a pack of con pico. As you can see, they're kind of star-shaped, um, sugary sweet things. I'm kind of looking forward to eating these actually, because I've always seen them in anime and uh, in Japanese stuff, but. Obviously I'd never eaten one, so I'm going to pour, pour a couple out on my hand. Okay, so yeah, they're, well, they're basically bits of sugar, as you can see here. So I'm going to pop one in my mouth and see what it tastes like. Hmm, that didn't taste very strong at all. Um, it's mostly crunchy, actually. There's a bit of a sugary taste, but that was very quick. I'm going to see if the green one is like a different flavour. I doubt it will be, though. Wait, I feel like it is. Okay, I'm going to try the white one again, hang on. Okay, I don't think there is actually a difference in the flavour. Um, yeah, they're just quite pleasant sugary stuff, so I'm kind of getting the taste now after eating a few of them. Um, yeah, not bad actually, they're exactly what I thought they'd be really, they're very crunchy, hard bits of sugar and stuff. They kind of have a bit of a taste, a bit of a fruity thing, but I can't really tell what exactly that is. Yeah, not bad, very basic, but you know, it, it's good for what it is. On to the next snack. Okay, it is time for the apple butter biscuit. Uh, these are butter biscuits, obviously, that taste of apple. I think uh, some taste sweet and some taste sour, or something like that. So uh, we shall give it a go. They're quite big biscuits as well, if I grab one out. So yeah, they're kind of, you know, your standard buttery kind of thing. They don't look particularly interesting. They're kind of just that gen generic shape, really. But I'm going to give one a bite. Hmm, perfectly serviceable sweet biscuit, really. I'm not getting much apple taste, though. I'm going to try the other piece. Hmm, yeah, okay, so that's a very subtle apple taste, to be honest. I can have one more, just to see if, um, I don't know if I got a bad one. Yeah. I'll be honest, um, if someone gave me one of those and didn't tell me what the flavour was, I just assumed they would like a Danish cookie, or like a sugar biscuit thing. Um, it is a very nice biscuit, it's got a nice crunch and stuff, nice texture, but the apple taste I'm really not getting. It's very subtle if it's there at all. Not bad, but I, I wouldn't recommend them. Anyway, on to the next one. Baby cheese chips. It's, it's time for them. Um, yeah, so baby cheese is like little little small blocks of cheese that Japanese uh, supermarkets sell, apparently. Uh, also, a shout out to the tattoo I still have from my 5th anniversary Japan Crate uh, video. I'm filming this the same day I filmed that. Uh, actually uploading the video as we speak. Anyway, I'm going to tear into this, grab a chip, and they, yeah, they look pretty regular chips basically. Uh, quite nice, you know, rusticy looking ones. Let's give it a taste. Hmm, that was, that was very nice actually. Um, so I do like cheese. I'm not a cheese lover. Um, that was just the right level. I think you got a cheesy taste, but it wasn't overpowering. It was like a light cheese, if that makes sense. I can have another one. Yeah, that's really nice. It's very slightly sweet. Um, a lot of potato chips from Japan are a little sweet, actually. Yeah, it's just like, it's very light cheese flavour. Um, yeah, I really recommend those, actually, if you like cheese. Um, I presume they taste like baby cheese, probably. I've never had it. Anyway, on to the next snack. It's Pringles time, and this time it is sukuyaki flavour. Um, which is, as far as I can tell, a kind of beef-based dish where... They dip it into raw eggs or something, and then rice or something like that. It's, it's quite a complex um, dish, although it's actually hard to pin down exactly what it is. Uh, but it involves beef, as you can see there. So, I've kind of got high hopes for this. This is a um, pretty standard Pringles thing, really. So, although it is the smaller tube, um, I think as 
that's kind of the common size in Japan, possibly. Which I don't mind, because, you know, these are specialist flavours and stuff, and a massive can full of flavours you're not too keen on might be a bit much. Right, anyway, um, I'm going to give one of these a taste. Alright, that's very unexpected. Um, <laughs> these taste almost exactly like beef and onion crisps. Walker's beef and onion crisps. Um, or Lay's, if you're in the US or anywhere that's not the UK. I don't know if they do the beef and onion as an international thing. I don't even know if they still do beef and onion. But this basically tastes of slightly like fake beef flavour, as you get in a lot of uh, potato chips. And you've also got like the underlying of onion and stuff, which I think basically is that dish. It's like beef, onion, rice, bit of soy sauce, whatever. They're really nice. Um, but yeah, they're, they're oddly reminiscent of the beef and onion crisps I've had before. But you know, still not bad. A, a, a solid choice of Pringles there. If you do come across these, give them a try. If you like beef and onions. Right, on to the next snack. It's time for some dress palettes. Uh, lemon and chocolate cookies. Now these really interested me when I opened them up in the box. Apparently they got a uh, lemon peel in them, I think, to make them kind of chewy or something. And the back even suggests I open it in the way that I'm opening it. So, I shall open them like that. All right then. So, what, yeah, what have we got inside? Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Okay, they're individually wrapped. Uh, let's see, what does this say on the front? Dress palette, and I'm sure that says something like lemon and chocolate cookie. I, I would read it, but eh, I can't be bothered. Let's just dive in. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about this. It's refreshing, apparently, and sweet and sour, because obviously it's lemon. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, these are definitely, um, well, I mean, they're, they're mass-produced, but they look quite, um, you know, quite well made but a bit rustic and stuff so I don't know if that's part of the lemon peel or ever right okay they're slightly soft as well slightly sticky I'm gonna give one a bite that is really interesting actually um yeah that's really nice that's a very strong lemon flavor as you'd expect with lemon peel in it yeah it is a little bit chewy so the, the cookie itself is a bit um soft it's like a soft cookie and yeah inside um, there's a little bit of chocolate, obviously, and there's some actual lemon peel, or well, lemon bits. It tastes like a little bit of jelly, really, more than peel, but, you know, anyway, I'm going to finish this one off. Yeah, that was really nice, and actually completely as advertised. It's a little bit refreshing, uh, it's a little bit chewy, and yeah, it's kind of sweet and a little bit of sour, but it's just the right level of sour as well. It's not overbearing, but it's quite pleasant. That That is really good, actually. Um, very impressed with dress palette kudos to you guys uh, right on to the next snack and we are ending this episode with a DIY sushi restaurant um, admittedly I'm not massively excited for this it's pretty simple there are little gummy pieces you can put like there's gummy on the bottom kind of pieces they're gonna be fruit flavor I reckon and those are gonna be the kind of more generic gummies the kind of like milk flavor or whatever so I'm going to get this open. All right, it is open. Let's pull them out. So they're all on the... Um, ooh, oh, okay, well, yeah. Oh, that, that's quite a nice display, actually. Also, it's quite cool because I was slightly concerned there would be too many toppings and too many bases. Oh, well, not for bases, but toppings that, like, mixing and matching wouldn't be a thing. But, yeah, no, it seems that there's exactly one top for each base. So yeah, without uh, further ado, I shall peel this back. I'll probably just assemble them, uh, I think, because you guys probably don't want to see me stacking sweets on top of rather sweets. I don't think that's going to be very interesting. So, I'm just going to peel it back. We're going to take a look at just, like, one of these things, and then I shall go assemble some small sushi things. So, what are the bases? Like, oh my god, wow, these are proper stuck in there. Uh, oh, they're also attached to each other, that's useful. Alright, there we are. So that's the base of the quote-unquote sushi. Sounds a bit pineapple-y. I could be wrong though. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna go and assemble some sushi and I will be right back. 
All right, so I'm back. I have assembled all of them. Now, you might be noticing there's one too many uh, yellow things here. That was because I dropped one of the red things on the floor. Uh, but it is a nice little crab-looking thing. No, it's not. Okay, I thought it was a crab-looking thing. It's just a sushi thing. Anyway, I'm not going to eat this because it's been on the floor. However, we will have a very quick look at all of these. There's this which maybe looks like a crab or something, I can't quite tell. Or maybe it's just a filleted fish or something. We have this, which is a bowl of something, with two bulbous things, rebel or something. This, which uh, looks like a pretty traditional sushi thing. I've seen this a lot before. Is this crab, maybe? It's a very similar version in yellow. A very plain yellow one and a mottled yellow one. So, yeah, I'm going to give one a try and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. That was an interesting one. The base kind of gummy thing, the, the white thing uh, there, tasted a bit of banana, actually, and that tasted a bit of lemon. So I'm going to give the red one a try because I presume this will taste of cherry or strawberry or something. All right, I'm back. My suspicions were correct. That was a cherry one, probably, I think, or strawberry. I couldn't quite tell. But hey, they kind of taste the same because they're slightly... You know, fake sugary flavours. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this episode of Japanese Snack Reviews. I will have quite a few more, at least two or three more, um, easily, and probably more in the future as well. As always, uh, thank you very much for watching. I shall see you again next time. And until then, goodbye.